My name is Father Ayapa. I am an acre to put. This is called Parthenium plant, and uh, in India, uh, government wants to eradicate this plant, and uh, I think uh, they think that it is very poisonous, and it is an invasive plant. It came from South America in 1960s when the bulga came in Caritas program uh, to feed the poor. This uh, seeds invaded India, and somehow it ended up in the land. And today, the biggest problem is invasive species. This plant came from South America and colonizing Indian land and uh, destroying the local ecology. Look at that! All this field is full of parthenium. See there? Everywhere parthenium, parthenium, parthenium. It looks like a prehistoric world. Uh, completely colonized by parthenium. Uh, it looks as if a prehistoric world colonized by parthenium. And um, uh, many people think this destroys the local ecology and uh, health, especially. Uh, people get a headache, nausea. Uh, wheezing, asthma, uh, they blame parthenium for that. So I'm keeping here, probably tonight I'm going to have an asthma attack. So it's very, very poisonous, they say. But anyway, according to Jesus Christ, uh, he thinks they have the right to exist and flourish, and we should never destroy them. It's all right, they are invasive species, they came to our land and now they established. Before they could establish a relationship with local ecology, you want to eradicate it. Probably they will find niche, and probably they will. Uh, after all, natural selection uh, brings all uh, species into complex relationships, and always they end up doing good. So we should believe that Jesus thinks so. And in one of the parables, Jesus says, uh, "A man went to sow wheat, and he sowed a good seed, but." They were surprised and shocked to see even the wheat were growing with the wheat. Then the servant told to master, Master, we sowed the good seed. How come these weeds are growing? And uh, can we pull out all the weeds and destroy them? Jesus says in the parable, No, 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 no. Don't destroy them. Let them grow side by side. And probably Jesus says they have a right to live and flourish on this earth. Only one thing we don't understand, we don't have knowledge what they can do to ecology. Only we see they are doing damage to our human um, uh, resources. But maybe they are doing something good for other creatures. If they are not good for humans, it doesn't mean that they are bad plant, because they'll they'll be doing good for frogs or mosquitoes or for some kind of animals. And everything in creation, they do something good. So we need to understand that. So let us allow uh, plants flourish. After all, they have right to existence, right to flourish, and right to fulfill their role for the common good of the whole world. God bless. Thank you.